Hello everyone, my name is David Sauter. I am a NASM certified personal trainer, and today I'm here with Life Sprout Bioceuticals to talk about coffee and Alzheimer's disease. Now, the older population is growing. It's estimated that by the year 2050, the older population will increase by 17%. And the older population, specifically those people who are 65 and older, are at the highest risk for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Now, one of the best ways to combat this is, of course, to exercise and have a great nutritional program. However, coffee may be an excellent and natural way to also combat Alzheimer's and dementia. So what is it about coffee? From a nutritional standpoint, coffee is not very impressive. It doesn't have any macronutrients. The micronutrients such as vitamin B3 and potassium are quite low. So what is in coffee that is making it so effective for combating Alzheimer's? And the answer is caffeine. Caffeine has been shown to block beta amyloid. Now, when beta amyloid builds up in the brain, it forms deposits or plaque on the brain tissue. This buildup of plaque then contributes to brain cell death, and that is one of the main causes of Alzheimer's. Caffeine works by blocking the beta amyloid. Caffeine may also be very effective for preventing inflammation in the brain. So how much coffee do you have to drink to get the benefits of the caffeine? Most of the studies focus on three to five cups per day. Now that is quite a lot of coffee, especially if you drink something stronger like an espresso shot. So I would recommend one to two cups per day. It gives you the benefits of the caffeine and the antioxidants, but it might not be as strong and cause the jitters or the anxiousness that three to five cups of coffee will do. Okay, again, my name is David Sauter. I am an ASM certified personal trainer. And today we just talked about coffee and the risk of Alzheimer's with Life Sprout Bioceuticals. Hope you have a great day. Take care.